Welcome to episode 4 of Emulating Ronaldo Series 2 and I've now holidayed it up to 2020 meaning we're all 22 years old and we get into that stage in our careers where we want to be superstars for our teams, for big teams. As you can see some of the players really are superstars. Roberto Corrali worth 41 million and in 185k a week. Crazy wages uh, value wise is Corrali then Nihim. Um, and then Mushroom, so, and a few players at least worth 30 million already, which is brilliant. And they're at big teams. Um, moving on to international selection. No, that's the wrong one. International selection. Caps wise, Josh Cunnington at the age of 22 has 63 caps for Australia already and 37 goals. He's absolutely insane. Uh, and, woof, crazy. But the biggest. Goal scorer of all at international level is Mahmoud Rahidi for Lebanon. He has 44 goals in 38 caps, which is crazy. Uh, youth appearances, Graziante managed to get the most in the end. And goals-wise, it was Roberto Corrali. Looks like a real superstar, he does. So we're going to go down the list. Um, I'll just show you the last season. We have holidayed three seasons. But the last season, average rating-wise, Erdi von Honter was top. Appearances-wise, Christian Johansson was. And goals-wise, Josh Cunnington with 26 goals for Sampdoria. Looks very good. So, we will go down in order of value and just do what I normally do. Some Someone did say, oh, you should reduce the numbers to like 10 people. So that means um, the videos will be shorter. But then there would be uproar. If I only allowed 10 of you in, that would just be, oh, I'd be lynched easily. You'd find out where I lived. Uh, I don't really look at... Oh, well, there's Roberto Corelli. You can look yourself, but he's still at Atletico. He's doing very well and scoring plenty of goals internationally as well as for club. It looks insane, doesn't he? Nilius Nihim, also at Atletico. So they've got the two best players that we have, which is just crazy. Uh, the Norwegian has 26 caps for Norway now and very, very fast defender. Very good attacking sort of aspects to him as well. Long shots, 20. He's just crazy. Uh, but he moved from Atletico for 34.5 million from Chelsea. So they spent a hell of a lot of money on him to take him to La Liga. Where has he helped them to a title? Yes, he has. The last two, in fact. So they've won four out of the last seven titles thanks to these superstar players so well done guys you may think oh I wish I was at Madrid or Real Madrid or Barcelona but you're at the biggest team in Spain currently and I wonder if you've won like the Champions League or anything like that we'll, we'll have a look later about Champions League moving down to Mushroom who's a real star for Man City and for England has 32 caps for England only one goal despite this very good finishing composure and various other attributes that are good for being a striker but um, being a one club man so far and well, could turn into a Man City legend quite easily I think let's have a quick look at the Premier Division Liverpool won it last season I shouldn't have sounded so surprised there, sorry Liverpool fans <laughs> um, the last three seasons Man City have won it twice so in fact I think they won it three times in a row in total yes they have meaning that Mushroom has many, many Premier League titles under his belt already. Uh, has he won anything else? They won the Capital One Cup this season and the Community Shield. We'll have a look at Premier Division sort of Team of the Weeks and, well, I think I can only see, see um, Team of the Year for the English Leagues. But for World Player of the Year and that sort of thing, we will have a look. Bradley Handelart also at Man City. Whoa, that is a crazy player. 43 caps for Holland at the age of 22. That is very, very impressive. And he's won something there, hasn't he? Let's see. Young Player of the Year in the Premier League. He looks insane. Uh, Javier Robertinho, a Brazilian. Uh, these players are brilliant. And it's good to see because in previous season uh, series, they haven't done as well. I don't think we've ever had someone this quite this good, to be honest. But he's at Real Madrid, has three goals in 24 caps for Brazil, who are currently third in the world. Let's have a quick look at the world, world rankings. Italy first. We have to look at World Cups as well and that sort of thing towards the end. 
just need to remember to do all these things because the videos do turn into very long things don't they um but he was bought only this season in fact for 13.75 million and helped Real Madrid finish third which isn't the best but uh oh we can actually see things for Brazil I don't know why certain things don't show it's strange but anyway he's won a few things with Sao Paulo a few various competitions is that the South American Champions League no, that's that's a international thing. Is that it? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what these things are. Never mind, let's go down. Josh Cunnington, our Australian. He's just doing oh, absolutely blitz in the world. They're th up to 33rd in the world rankings. But he's playing for Sampdoria and scoring plenty of goals, as you can see. 26 the last season and helping Sampdoria finished second Juventus have dominated but um, that's quite unlike I've loaded the Italian league but not the Spanish I'm, I swear I loaded the Spanish but never mind we can't can't have everything the game will be so slow because I've obviously had to load all the nations of these obscure countries as well so I can have the players I haven't loaded the, the leagues but I've loaded um, the nations so I can um, see all the, uh, the players but Santorio finished second Tw uh, twice in the last three seasons as you can see there moving down to Liam Lagana, one of our Maltese players who's done very well internationally for Malta up to 119th in the world I think he commented or the other Maltese player commented saying um, he hopes Malta can break into the top 100 with these two players and hopefully they will we'll see they're up to 119th they, in fact they were uh, in the top 100 so there you go it's just lately that they've dropped down which is unfortunate so you did actually manage to break the top 100 two years ago and well until recently really until October 2019 you were in the top 100 so for Arsenal how's he done he's he's won something I shouldn't sound so surprised again with Arsenal winning they've won a few things they've won the Capital One Cup the Euro Cup and the FA Cup as well against West Ham in the final El Shawari with the goal How, who did they beat in the Euro Cup 2-1 against Stoke and Lagana scored, but we can't see the goal. That's that's unfortunate. Anyway, moving on, let's go down to Salgado, uh, one of our Portuguese players. Fifteen caps of Portugal. He's at Bayern Munich, huge team, of course. Moving from Sporting for thirty-three point five million. Lots of money flying around now that they're reaching sort of these early twenties. Um, had a fantastic season in the the thirteen games he did play for Bayern Munich and help them to oh what's this first division playoff i don't want to see this we, we want to see the we want to see the bundesliga don't we? is that the bundesliga oh it is isn't it oh that's the relegation thingy oh bayern finished second this season behind dortmund but oh, it's been an interesting mix of different teams winning which is good to see so he did manage to win the the league with bayern munich in 2019 and runners up all the things have suddenly appeared which is good uh, yeah that, that's good news indeed <laughs> moving on to early von Hunter, Man City 6 goals in 29 games for Turkey looks very good doesn't he and another Man City player I mean it's, it's inevitable that they will sign a lot of players and he's moved for two big fees really uh, 10.75 million to Lazio and then 34 million to Man City where he's had incredible average ratings on that wing for Man City and obviously winning a few things won the FA Cup last season and Premier League with Man City last season Matthew Harmon our Congolese international who chose his second nationality in the end was uh, started off Zimbabwe but 9 goals in 32 games for Congo that's pretty good and another player that is at Sampdoria and has been there since the start of his career and he's doing rather well uh, in fact everyone is with average ratings fantastic stuff our Belgian Jens de Vigels who I always struggle to pronounce is at Real Madrid looks absolutely insane wow I, uh, that is just incredible. Maybe I've made the players too good this time, but who cares? It's good to have really good players, isn't it? So he's moved from AC Milan for 30.5 million 
after some incredible performances for AC Milan and has oh he was made ah, world team of the year let's have a look at this now whilst we remember so he was in the world team of the year the only one in the starting lineup in fact have we got any others I can't see anyone else there but one of our players has made world team of the year which is fantastic has any of our other players made it can't see anyone you can uh, maybe spot better than I can so that's world team of the year world golden ball um, let's just move down Messi's just dominated hasn't he but um, good to see Tony Cruz in there actually different sort of player in the in the list yeah finished in second and then third Wait, we want to see World Player of the Year, which is always slightly different. So, oh, Tony Cruz won it in uh, 2018, which is quite interesting, isn't it? None of our players in the mix yet, but good to see a player in the World Team of the Year. Well done, Jens Ustrevels. So, Ashrin Subedi, who's Napoli, plays for Napoli. Only, still only one cap for Nepal. Do they actually ever play games? Because why isn't he playing in that game against Brunei? They are they are playing games. He's just not playing for whatever reason, which doesn't make any sense really. Because he's obviously he must be their best player. Look, he is. Maybe it's just not registering. He's the only player in the team. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah. So with Napoli, we moved there for eighteen point two five million from Boa Vista, who where he was having some very good performances. Um, yeah, achievements wise, he's won the Italian Cup and the Portuguese Cup so far in his career. So that that's good, isn't it? A couple cup competitions under his belt. Mitchell Bowsen. Plays for Real Sociedad or other Maltese player. Look at those attributes. Oh mate. Oh we have to be careful it's a Gary Mo Gary Neville moment here. Uh he's been at Real Sociedad since the start and yeah, scoring plenty of goals. Not so many this season. But he looks good, doesn't he? And he's the Malta captain now. And it was the European Golden Boy in 2017. Handelaar's won it. Bolzen's won it. So two of our players have won that, which is brilliant. What else is there? Best player in Europe. Um, none of our players have been in it yet. And lastly, Golden Shoe can't imagine one of our players will have won that yet no no one's finished second or third either but there's still time isn't there there's still time for these things Dylan Knight for Napoli also in at Napoli 8 goals in 35 games for San Marino and looks very good with his dribbling and finishing and composure and off the ball he should be scoring goals for fun but he hasn't. He must be playing on the wing. He'd make, make a great striker, actually, wouldn't he? They need to be trained up as strikers. These teams are missing a trick. But he's done very well for, for Napoli, by the looks of things. And obviously would have won a couple of cup competitions along with the Apo, with uh, Sabedi. Marcus Duncombs at AC Milan, or Austrian. 16 goals in 40 games for Austria. That's a very decent record. Moved there for 5.25 million. He's played very well, scoring... 19 goals this season in all competitions. Probably hasn't won anything with AC Milan yet. No, not yet. But once again, there's still time for him, isn't there? Christian Johansson plays for Stoke. He's Danish. Four goals in 37 games for Denmark. He's done very well. And he's been at Stoke since the start. And they did get relegated, but he helped them back. He's kept stayed with the team and helped them back into the Premiership. Well, he's played very well for them, and I think they survived. Yeah, they did. In fact, they finished ninth. A good season for Christian Johansson. Moving down to Harath Hamoud, who's at Man City as well. Two caps for England now. Our top England players are Callum Chambers, Sterling Jones, Henderson and Jones. It's quite predictable. It usually is that. 
But he looks very solid, doesn't he? A good, solid defender. And he's playing quite a few games for Man City. He moved from Everton for £21 million And he's he looks more like a backup with those 13 appearances, doesn't he? He had some very good seasons with Everton. And um, this season, he played very well in the games he has managed to play. And he did win the Community Shield with them. Was actually relegated with Everton. Um, so, Everton. Oh, yeah, getting relegated. Anyway, moving on, uh, where are we up to? This is what the video takes so long, I do apologise. But Tom Larsen, our other Danish player, 47 caps for Denmark already. A very good left back for Chelsea, where he would have won a few things by now. Incredible average rating two seasons ago, 7.94 in the league. That's just mental. Plenty of man of the match performances from him. And... Oh no, Chelsea actually haven't won anything, have they? Oh, they won the club world. Oh, they won the Super Cup. Oh no, it's just there's so many. He's achieved so many things. I have to go all the way down the bottom here. Uh, he's what they won the Champions League in 2017, and the Super Cup, and the World Club Championship. So the last few. Ah, oh, Sampdoria won the Champions League. Italy have dominated. So two of our guys, the Sampdorians. Well done. You've won the Champions League in 2019. Juventus have won it three times so far. Chelsea won it in 2017. Uh, Juventus beat PSG in the, the last final. But previously, Sampdoria beat Barcelona. So well done, guys. Forgot to look at that, didn't I? I didn't notice. Oh, have we not got to the Sampdoria yet? I can't remember. I think we've been past Connington, haven't we? Anyway, good stuff. Good stuff, guys. Let's go back. Well done, Tom Larson. You've been a beast. Hayden Air. Also plays for Stoke. Six appearances for Czech Republic. Decided to choose Czech Republic over Wales, which I thought was a bit strange. But that's what the in-game player decided. Had a very good season in the Championship with Stoke, helping them to get promoted. Then a very good season, first season back in the Premiership. 15 goals in the league, 22 in all competitions. Not so good a season this season, for whatever reason. But it's, it's interesting how um, we end up getting two players at Stoke. And they were, of course, runners-up in the Euro Cup this season. Because I assume maybe because they were Capital One Cup runners up. Well, they've come close many, many times by the looks of it. In fact, you can't get Euro place from Capital One Cup runners up, can you? It must have been from the league. Moving on. Maximus Balington, who is our Andorran. Oh, I keep getting the Andorran and Moldovan flags mixed up. What a player for Mold Andorra. Just dragged them up to 174th in the world. Although they were up to 133rd at one point. Crazy. And he's got five goals in 39 games for Andorra. He would... He's just... He's just so good. His players. Insane. He's at Liverpool. Uh, so he would have won the league this season, in fact. Um, spent time at Leeds on loan, but since then has done very well for, for Liverpool. They probably needed a, a good, solid defence midfielder to replace Gerrard. And he's won the FA Cup and the Premiership with, with Liverpool. So he's had a successful career so far. Moving on to Jack O'Halloran, one of our Irish players. 31 caps for Ireland. Another player at Man City, so I think this is the fourth one. He's a left back and plays a fair number of games each season. Not every single game, but he's getting a decent number of appearances. And he's, of course, won many, many competitions already. Ah, we've gone miles away. Moving on to Adrian Tarnowski, our Polish player who decided to go for his second nationality of Norwegian. Has two goals in 20 games for Norway and looks insane. Another player at Man City. How many do they have? There's just so many of them. Crazy. Anyway. Uh, he has uh, played quite a few games this season for them. Not the best season for him. But of course has won many, many things. Then we move on to Paul Holden, which is myself, of course. One goal in eight games for England. I I don't look that well rounded really, do I? I've got some pretty poor attributes down here. I'd much rather be a beast like everyone else, but I'm still doing alright. I've done quite well with Chelsea and obviously getting quite a few games under my belt now, which is good to see. Good average rating. And have won the FA Cup with Chelsea. Didn't I? Oh, didn't play in the Champions League final by the looks of it, unfortunately. 
but um but yeah i'm doing okay doing okay probably one of the the poorer players in fact although i am at a big team as you can see ahmed shah now he's still in the barcelona b team has 13 appearances for pakistan but only in 66k a week so he must be playing some first team football not a huge amount so he's on 66k a week but he's playing for the b team crazy what's going on there Costas Chilabu, a Greek player, is at Arsenal. One goal in 30 games for Greece. And, yeah, doing doing rather well. He's on loan at Fulham at one point. But his average rating... Actually, he's not doing that well, to be fair. I don't know why I said that. His average rating is quite poor compared to everyone else. But played plenty of games this season. And has won the Capital One Cup, the Euro Cup, and the FA Cup with Arsenal. They have, they've had a very good couple of years. Martin Madge. So he's at Boa Vista, co-owned by an agent. Five goals in 20 games for Bhutan. And has stayed at Boa Vista the whole time. Let's see how they've managed to do in the league. So the Portuguese league is shown as well. Could have sworn I loaded up the Spanish league. Well, never mind. Um, Boa Vista down in seventh this season. Porto winning the league. Has he managed to win anything at Boa Vista? They, oh, they won at this competition, whatever that is. Is that the Spanish... Portuguese Cup, sorry. Must be. So, yeah, he's won a cup, which is good. Moving down to Angelo Ionescu. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ionescu, the Porto player. 22 caps for Portugal. He's obviously the main keeper for Portugal now. And has won a few things with Porto by the looks of what I saw before. Yep, he's won the League Cup, the Premier League, the other cup thing, and whatever that is. There's various things in Portugal. Must be like the Spanish, the Portuguese Super Cup, like the Spanish Super Cup or something. Bradatelli, eight goals in 27 games for Azerbaijan. He's at Watford in the Premiership, who have managed to get promoted. And did they get relegated again? No, they've survived. But he's at Watford. He moved there for 3.7 million. One of our more average players. So there's there's not a mate that we don't have everyone beasting it because I've obviously put the potential so that there's a bit of variety and it can be randomised and it'll be a different on every game really. So if you download my database, it will be different. We're up to Franciano Man, who's at Barcelona and in the first team, two three goals in eighteen games for Colombia. He's also co-owned by someone, unfortunately. But he's playing for the first team. Very poor average rating, though, this season. 6.48. Has he won anything? Won the Cop uh, third place Copa America. No, he's not managed to win anything yet. In fact, let's have a quick look. No, why didn't I load the Spanish League? I don't know. Never mind. Rob Vernon at AC Milan. Plays with Gibraltar. Five goals in 32 games for Gibraltar. Who still don't? Who still aren't actually classified as a proper team, despite the fact that they're playing in. Um, what is this? Have they created some sort of thing for the smaller nations? I didn't realise this existed. It must be new. Interesting. Hung well, Wales are in there. It's a bit of an insult. And Hungary. Ah, and Israel as well. Interesting. Cyprus. Though. Well, there you go. There's something, some sort of strange competition going on there. But um, for, uh, he moved to AC Milan from Burnley for £14 million on zero pence. And it's done okay. Not amazing. couple of players at AC Milan now. Mahmoud Wahidi. I like saying that name. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. But he looks very good. Obviously, internationally, he's doing very well. He's at Nice, though. He's not a huge team. But he moved, uh, he's, well he stayed there the whole time, but he was on loan in the Premier Division for West Brom. Since then he's done okay, not amazing. What's going on in France? Yeah, I've even got this one loaded up. Where are Nice? Do, 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 do. I can't see them. Oh, there they are. Uh, Monaco won the league this season. In fact, they've won the last two. Let's go down. We're nearly there. Sorry if you've got bored. I'm getting a bit bored myself. My voice, bloch. Uh, where am I? Oh yeah, Indonesia. This guy, Balanta. Cristiano Balanta. Is that Inter still? It's done okay. Not such a good season this season, but previously very good average ratings. And has won the Italian Youth Cup Invitational for Inter. A prestigious award there. 
probably is for young people, but never mind. Nathan Alderson, uh, Moldovan. Three goals in 30 games for Moldova. Uh, Centre-back at PSG, so it's one of a few things. He's only... Oh, no, he hasn't, because he's only just moved there, and they didn't win the league this season. 12.25 million move from Basel. Played a fair number of games for Basel and a few for PSG this season. And may not be able to see his achievements with Basel because they may actually have won. They have won the league a couple of times, so he would have won the league with them. Well done, Nathan Alderson. When early there, when early there. Karen Patel, our Indian. One goal in 22 games for India. Is that Club Bruges still? After moving there for 2.7 million. He's done very well with his average ratings, hasn't he? And has he managed to win the league? Let's have a quick look. No. No, they've finished third. Although they won it 2016-2017, so maybe he got it then. Down we go, down we go to Anguilla Gracienta, who hasn't managed to earn a cap for Argentina thus far, but there's still time. Um, hopefully he will at some point. He's got pace, he's got good dribbling, so if they need a winger, then, then he can get in the team. He's at Porto after moving for 1.6 million quite a long, long time ago. He's been on loan at 20 in Real Sociedad and didn't really play many games this season, but he did win the League Cup with Porto. He's also won the Olympic Games with Argentina. Interesting. And also the uh, that Portuguese Cup. Statistical approach is at Atletico, so that's good because he's moved to the, the top team in Spain currently and he's got 14 caps for for um, for America now. But he's not played a huge number of games since moving. He's been playing for the B team mainly. Unfortunately, myself and Statistical Approach, the two YouTubers, and there may be some more of you on this series, I don't know, but the two that I know of... Um, oh, there's another one I know about, actually. Yeah, anyway... Us two. I'm going off topic. I need to get going. Uh, yeah. What was I going to say? Yeah, we've not done very well. Well, we've done okay. But he's won the North American Gold Cup. But hopefully statistical approach will improve at some point. He looks very good, though. Apart from his long throws. But no one can throw a ball. Although he's American, he should be able to throw a ball. Never mind. As Drubal Borrego. As Drubal. As Drubal Borrego. I like that name. One cap for Portugal. And looks pretty solid. Still at Rio Ave. 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 In the Portuguese Premier League. Sort of a lower end team there. But but still, it's, it's a good start for him. And perhaps he can. Um, you can move on. Broccoli Radio is doing very well for Ireland. 14 goals in 18 games. Well, actually, he's not really moved on in the last three years. It's a shame because I thought he was going to be a beast. And I think everyone wants to support him. But he's he's at Villa. He's uh, not done very well. Not playing very many games at all. And it's a shame, really, because we want Broccoli Radio to do well. But never mind. He can still improve, can't he? He can be an Irish legend. Yeah, Randall Baron Pusey. One goal in 33 caps for Canada. He's at Fanabache. And has been there since he moved for 3 million. He's done okay. Nothing amazing. Has he won anything with Fanabache? Yeah, he has. Three league titles in a row they've won at one point. So he should have won those. Uh, Joe, Joe, hello. Johan Adolfsson. A lot of people are supporting him. Not worth a huge amount, maybe because he's a keeper. But um, he's got seven caps for Sweden, and he's a good keeper for West Ham by the looks of it. Who were relegated at one point, but have come back up again. Concedes a lot of goals, though, which is a shame. His average ratings have been shocking. Apart from in the Championship, they're okay. So, maybe that's not his fault. It could be the defence's fault, really. And they were runners-up in the FA Cup this year, so that's, that's a reasonable achievement for him. And lastly, Oscar and Zola. Our Venezuelan is joining Club Bruges actually in this summer. Two goals in 17 games internationally. And for this Dutch team, he's, he's, he's done okay and had a good season last season. And they didn't win anything. And there we go. Oh, World Cup. Let's have a quick, a quick look at that.
before we move on. Um, World Cup. So, oh, I'm hitting my microphone. Germany have won it twice in a row now, thanks to their 1 0 win against England in the last World Cup final. Did I, uh, yeah, I did allow for real players to play for Germany. That's good. Um, this guy scored the winner in the final. Whoa, he looks insane. Who is this guy? So, in real life, he's 19, 20. You better sign this guy, he looks insane. Look, that is unbelievable. Everything's at, at least 11. What a player. I'm screenshotting him. Looks insane, this guy. Probably should have heard of him, but I, I can't say I have. So that's the World Cup. European Championship. Football Championship. It was won by Germany as well in 2016. I may have shown that already, actually. But I don't know. So that, this summer is the 2020 competition. Got Armenia in it. England's groups should be easy, but come on, Iceland. Uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like and continue to support your player and the series. And I shall see you in episode five. Bye, guys.